Scottish COVID-19 Inquiry Introductory Film with Audio Description The following film contains images which some may find distressing. The quotes used in this film were gathered anonymously through Let's Be Heard, the Scottish COVID-19 Inquiry's listening project. They are not quotes from the people who feature in this film and do not represent the Inquiry's concluded views. The Scottish COVID-19 Inquiry extends its deepest sympathy to all those who have been and continue to be impacted by the pandemic and expresses its heartfelt condolences to those who have lost relatives, friends and loved ones. As the text fades, Louise Marshall, a piper with long blonde hair, appears. Dressed in a vibrant blue tartan kilt, white sporran, white shirt and dark blue waistcoat. She plays the Dark Island while walking through a field of long grass blowing in the wind and then stands in silhouette against a cloudy sky. That image fades and a series of dates and facts appear. 31st of December 2019 the World Health Organization reports an outbreak of viral pneumonia of unknown cause in Wuhan, China. 11th of March 2020, the World Health Organization declares COVID-19 a pandemic. 13th of March 2020, the Chief Medical Officer announces the first confirmed death of a patient with COVID-19 in Scotland. Images appear of NHS intensive care staff clad in PPE around hospital bedsides. Lives were saved, but lives were lost, and people left broken to keep the wheels of the NHS turning. Feeling we were failing everyone bore down hard on us as nurses. And the face of a nurse is shown, dressed in PPE, only her eyes are visible, and the words, our best was rarely good enough, lingers on the screen. 16th of March 2020, all mass indoor and outdoor events of 500 people or more are cancelled. 18th of March 2020, schools and nurseries are told to close by the end of the week. 20th of March 2020, the Prime Minister advises the public to avoid all pubs, restaurants, gyms and other social venues across the country. 23rd of March 2020, lockdown starts in Scotland. A perfect storm of loneliness was created and this is shown by various images. A deserted road, a boarded up pub. Boards say, thank you NHS. Stay home, save lives. A lonely traveller on a platform at Waverley Station, Edinburgh, surrounded by stationary trains. A TV screen, the then First Minister Nicola Sturgeon, with a sign language interpreter next to her. Stay at home. Locked school gates, heart-shaped drawings attached and a rainbow drawn on a wall. Telling an autistic child in my class that her school would be closed for the foreseeable future remains the most difficult moment of my career. A toddler looks out of a closed window. The impact on children is still being felt and will be for a long time. Two young children drawing at a table. I have two children. Both suffered from lockdown rules and the isolation from their friends and lack of routine. Socially distanced shoppers in a queue waiting to enter a store. 26th of March 2020, guidance is issued to care homes. Routine visiting should be suspended. Through a window decorated with rainbows, a nurse carer points out a visitor to a resident. I have never experienced anything so heartbreaking as standing at a window and shouting through to my mum. A woman in a wheelchair uses a mobile phone to chat to her visitor through a locked door. Another woman outside in a wheelchair holds an umbrella 
behind a wrought iron gate. I felt so trapped and lonely. Over a garden fence, a woman shows a phone screen image to her elderly neighbour. 18th of May 2020, testing becomes available to everyone in Scotland over the age of five who is symptomatic. More images. A mobile testing centre with a person in a car being swabbed by a nurse. Socially distanced NHS staff with emergency service workers and members of the public standing outside a Glasgow hospital clapping for carers. Two female NHS staff one at a laptop, another at a window covered with rainbow drawings. The 2nd of November 2020, five levels of COVID-19 restrictions brought into force in Scotland, depending on virus transmission rates in different areas. The 8th of December 2020, first vaccinations against COVID-19 given in Scotland. 5th of January 2021, mainland Scotland enters a second lockdown beautiful image of Loch Leven with a huge poster mounted on a boat trailer. Go home please, a pandemic is not code for holiday. A boarded up wine and spirit merchant with a sign which reads, opening soon, beside a smiley rainbow emoji. Below, a sign reads, no soon enough, with an angry emoji. My finances have still not recovered from having my business decimated. Images of people at a vaccination centre and a group of volunteers at a van handling food parcels. A young person wearing a face mask and backpack walks past a sign reading Be smart, keep two metres apart, City of Glasgow College with blocks of flats in the distance. I became very anxious I lost my confidence. I developed an eating disorder, felt depressed and isolated. And I missed my friends. 19th of July 2021, Scotland moved to protection level zero. 9th of August 2021, legal requirement for physical distancing and limits on gatherings is removed. Two images of young people wearing school uniform and face masks back at school. It was sad and depressing being at school with everyone wearing masks. I hated it. My youngest child became withdrawn and disengaged from school where he had been an enthusiastic student before the pandemic. Prayers at the Islamic Centre Glasgow. Two men wearing face masks and a young boy turns to smile at the camera. 14th of January 2022. The number of people in Scotland who have died within 28 days of testing positive for COVID-19 passes 10,000. Close-up image of a young hand with a hospital drip attached. As a nurse, I want to help people live a good life and have a good death. I truly feel I have failed. A close-up shot of a coffin with a yellow note stuck to it reading COVID-19. You have just lost the love of your life and no one can come to the house to help you or support you. An image of a socially distanced funeral with a woman addressing the few attendees in a crematorium. She touches the wicker coffin, distraught. The 5th of May 2023, the World Health Organization declares COVID-19 is no longer a public health emergency of international concern. However, the impact of COVID-19 endures. The screen fades to white and an animation appears, a succession of photos supplied by bereaved families, care home relatives and individuals across Scotland family groups or solo portraits in a huge varieties of settings, inside or out. Young and old, whether dressed in t-shirts or wedding finery, wearing flat caps or sunglasses or paramedic uniform, most have large smiles. Taking pride in a sunflower 
a precious child or a grandchild, with backdrops of holidays, gardens or birthday balloons. All the photos float onto the screen and then drop back like jigsaw puzzle pieces to form a map of Scotland. This animation continues for a farther two minutes. At the end of the animation, the map of Scotland is complete and Louise Marshall, the piper from the start of the film, walks slowly away. The Scottish COVID-19 inquiry thanks bereaved families, care home relatives and individuals across Scotland who have shared their experiences through Let's Be Heard and those who kindly provided photographs. Film credits go to Murdo MacLeod, Photography, Jeff J. Mitchell, Getty Images, Kay Neville, Serge Cornu, George Clark, iStock, Jane Barlow, Maggie Sully, Andrew Corley, Alami. The audio description was by Veronica Kinahan. Scottish COVID-19 Inquiry 2023